Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for the 23rd of April 2015. The moon today is in the nakshatra of Ardra. So of course we need to talk a little bit about the energy of Ardra. Okay, Ardra gives us the ability to achieve, the ability to pour our efforts into something, and well, when that result is suited um, to our destiny, then to actually achieve that. When that result is not suited to our destiny, well, that's when we tend to have a certain um, certain amount of difficulty, right? Ardra is also symbolized by the tears of Shiva. It's very cleansing. So where things do go wrong with Ardra, there's usually an eye-opening experience that comes after a cleansing of emotions. All the indications today seem to point in the direction of you knowing what you need to do, right? But Due to having to deal with the set of circumstances that you're dealing with, you may not actually be so wild about the actual doing of the event, and that's what's going to create some difficulty. The strength is there, the ability to have a breakthrough is there, but it's almost like you're having to do it with a sense of resignation, which doesn't make you feel so happy. So what we've got to do is see what we can do about giving you the support that you need so that you can um, have that breakthrough in whatever area of your life that might be, right? And that's going to be indicated uh, through looking at the particular uh, tithi that the moon is in today, which is Shukla Shashti. It's the sixth day of the bright moon. And the yoga, which is made between the sun and moon's degrees, uh, plus another calculation is called Sukarman. And that's about doing good works. Overall, you have to focus on what's right. If you can find happiness in what's right in the moment, that's really what's going to serve you. Ardra is able to work wonders when it's dealing with that which is right for the individual, and that which is spiritually correct. Inside of your heart, you know what that is, right? Um, if you don't know what that is, well, you just take steps, and if you stumble, well, then you'll get pointed in the right direction. The universe is great like that. Ardra is ruled by um, Rahu, the north node of the moon, right? And the north node of the moon is actually in Hasta, which is ruled by the moon. So there's an interchange of energy going on between between those two planets. Um, because the North Node is in Hasta, the suggestion is that you can see the direction that you need to go in, but because the Moon doesn't have um, a very large amount of strength, even though he's in Cancer, he's in the very early degrees of Cancer, which doesn't give the Moon very much energy, and that doesn't help to support Hasta. So it's like you can see the direction ahead, but inside of you, you, uh, even though you have the confidence, and that confidence ultimately is what's going to help you today in order to have that breakthrough in applying your energy towards whatever today's goal is uh, for you. Um, that's what's going to help you to, uh, to achieve what you're looking to achieve. But the problem is, is it's going to make you feel like you have to endure and have to go through certain things that you don't necessarily want to go through. Focus on Dharma. What is Dharma? For those of you who don't know what Dharma is, that which is right for you, which is usually that which you feel in your heart. Um, Dharma is something that evolves over our lifetime. It changes because we're meant to face different circumstances, evolve, go through, grow through different sets of beliefs even though there are certain beliefs that stay with us throughout our lives. So doing what feels right in your heart is ultimately what's going to help you to find the happiness, the confidence, and the strength that you need in order to get through the day. And I'm saying that, and it makes it sound like it's a bad day, but you know what? It, it's not really. It's just that you're dealing with a set of circumstances that you're moving beyond and you're moving past, only you haven't fully let go yet. Well, now you're focusing that energy, applying it in a different direction, even though you may not want to fully. Just trust that it's the right thing. Know that it's right in your heart. And ultimately, that's what's going to carry you to success. Now, 
As you may know, this is going to affect each individual in a radically different way, dependent upon where all these influences are falling within a person's birth chart. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about that in relation to your birth chart or just generally what's happening for you, what the outlook is like, I also offer a vast range of astrological services, which are available through my website. And there's a link down below in this YouTube video. I do person-to-person -person consultations, which are interactive consultations using the same tool that I'm talking to you through. I also do personalized video reports, which are recorded as a monologue, again, using the same tool. And there are also written reports, if you're interested more in the written word than the spoken word. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page yet, please consider doing so so that you can receive regular updates every time there's a new video that's posted to this page. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today. Until next time, my friends, I hope that you'll take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.